first thing about the pages, so as I've just told you in the beginning, you have to work with pages, you have only these two uh, modules. In this module, the page, in the module page, you work in the fixed pages, which are these ones. This is a typical website tree. So you have here the main pages. Uh, the pages will appear, uh, as you know, these pages that are here on this first part of the tree, they will appear on the navigation menu. So actually, it's these pages here. And then you have the, the folder that is called the registration of extensions, where you create the news records, the FAQs, the events records, the forms, the glossary. Please don't disregard this library folder. They, it doesn't mean anything. And, and don't mistake it with the folder in the file administration. And then you have here uh, this folder, which is the interface that controls all the social media and the uh, contact uh, icon. So, the, the, those, this part here controls this this part in the navigation menu, which is the social media that are on the left of the menu, on navigation menu, and also this menu uh, header tools. It's these are the tools. So it, it controls here the contact page. And then you have a folder that is photos gallery. So every gallery, every gallery that you create on the file administration with pictures, uh, it will appear automatically here. So you don't have to do anything with this photos gallery. It's just a folder that that uh, collects all the albums that are created in the file administration. Then you have a second part of the, the tree that is the example website. This example website is not ever online. It's just a website with pages that we have pre-configured for you that you can copy in, and put into your website tree in order for you to not have too much work. So just we have uh, uh, several examples already pre-configured. For example, a photo gallery, several kinds of photo galleries, but we'll explain that later also how to. And you have, for example, a page type. A page type, we have, uh, we have all sorts of contents, uh, all sorts of configurations of content in the page type. Just to show you how it looks like. So here you have all sorts of ways of displaying the content on the page. You can go into the back end and see how it how it is configured, for example. So you can see the back end here of the, the page type, and you can copy the way it is configured. So you have, for example, FAQs here. The purpose of the, <clears throat> the example website is that you can copy the page, and you can copy the content inside here. For example, if you click here also with the contextual menu. You can manage all the website tree with the contextual menu. So you just click right and you can, uh, you have here several options. You can disable, uh, disable the page. The page will still be there, but it's not uh, online. You can edit the properties of the page and uh, you have the info of the page. And you can undo uh, the, uh, the modifications, the changes that you have done, that you uh, have done it by any, anything, anything wrong. So you can go back and retrieve the previous version. You can also cut, create a new page, uh, copy the page, or delete the page. You also, you also have the brand, branch actions. This actually doesn't uh, work very well. It's preferable if that you pick the page and you just move it by drag and drop. So, so you have the first part, which is the pages, the fixed pages, the registration of extensions with the dynamic records, 
and you have the example website from where you can copy pages and you have also here these all these folders but uh, these folders uh, as it's just they, they are just they are just uh, you don't use them because they will be used to a feature that is to uh, republish news from other projects but you ha you will have a feature that is will be uh, put aside here on this left column that you will use directly to do that so just showing how to create a page you can click here uh, you, you have two methods either you click on this button with a plus that opens opens uh, this menu and you can create a page like this you just drag and drop the page wherever you wish the page uh, is created uh, is disabled by default so you can see this forbidden uh, sign and it has no title so we can give them a title and so the page is disabled so you can work on the page uh, before enable it and when you enable it it can go online so here you can edit the page, but you have, you have always to be in the page mode. Uh, you can edit the page, you can change the title here. And very important, you have the image banner here. You have two sections of the layout of the page. This is the main layout. It's the structure of the page. It's not the structure uh, with columns. It, this, is, this comes afterwards when you create the sections. So it's just everything is done in the main content. It, and if you want to have a banner, you put it here, but you put no text here. So, for example, a banner, if you wish to have a banner, actually, it's the same banner, for example, as it appears in the, the top of the, of the home page. For example, this, this page. So this banner, it's it's a more little banner. So you can add here the banner and the content. It's different. It's the texts that you add to the page. So a unusual page, any any page. So. All this you see here, for example, what we do, all this text is um, is here on this area here. So uh, then you can edit the properties of the page here. The properties of the page uh, mean that, for example, if you you can have hidden pages on the navigation menu. These pages are not hidden, but you can have hidden pages with links. For example, you can create a page that has links to hidden pages with more details of something. So here, to, uh, to make a page appear in the menus, you click here to hide, to not, sorry, to not appear in the menus, you click here on hide. And it won't be uh, appearing. So for example, you, you are now enabling the page. And the page appears here. As you can see, uh, all not hidden pages are uh, lighter, and the page that is hidden is uh, is more darker. So you can see actually on the tree which pages you have hidden and which pages are actually displayed on the navigation menu. So these are all active pages. Another important uh, difference is you have pages that you can edit, for example, like these ones, uh, that you can edit the text. So it has an usual text. And you have pages where you display listings of news, for example. So 
these pages, you don't insert any content there. News and events, for example, you don't insert contents there. You have to, uh, you just have listings of news because these pages are done to uh, read the folders in the extensions, the dynamic content. So when you insert a new news, automatically it will appear on these pages. But these pages are only for displaying the records. So it's this one, for example, news and events. And for example, the FAQ, it will, it will list the FAQs, for example. If, um, well, probably there isn't any FAQ on this website, but for example, if you go to the program website, <clears throat> we have the you have this, this page, kind of page. So, but you don't have to do anything on this in these pages because it will be uh, just for displaying the list. So, when uh, you want to copy, um, when you want to copy something from the example website, as it isn't working as I thought, so I'm just going to copy this page and put it here. So when, when we copy a page uh, with the contextual menu, uh, the options change. So uh, suddenly it appears this button is pasting to or paste after. So for example, pasting to it's when you have the first level page and uh, you paste it here, for example. You can also move it. It was possible yesterday to move it. But it's perhaps just uh, uh, the program that has this uh, possibility. When you copy the page, uh, the page uh, is, as you can see, always by default uh, disabled. Uh, yes, you have to wait. We have to wait a bit uh, until it works. So now I can change place, uh, change place. As you can see, we just drag and change the place of the page. For example, there. As you can see, this this uh, this page here, it's different from the others. These these others have content, usual content, text and media, something like that. These ones have plugins. These are these are plugins that manage the search the search engines and the list views of uh, in this case the FAQs for example. So it is important that when you you change a page that has plugins, you have to update the plugin because uh, the, these pages that list these list records, they are uh, attached to the folders of the example website. So you have to update the folder to your website. So for example, in this case, the FAQ is reading the folder FAQ of the example website. So you have to, to go uh, to change the folder. For example, as you can see, in the registration of extensions, you have your own FAQ folder. So for example, here, you should go and change the plugin into your folder. So you, you can edit the plugin here through this button. This is just to explain when you copy pages that have plugins inside. So you have to change um, the folder here, starting point. So you here, as you can see, it reads the example website. You have to delete it. And you have to search for your own folder. So you have to open, it opens the website tree, a box with the website tree. Then it, you, open, you open the registration of extension and you choose your own FAQ folder. And you save. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> you also have, as you have done here, the FAQ. The FAQ has two pages, which is, so, for example, the page, uh, this page, which is the listing, and then to see the detail of the FAQ, you need to move uh, this uh, this page also, the, the detail page. So when you uh, you copy, uh, for example, this these pages that that read um, folders, you just have to copy also the under page, the underneath pages. So you copy the page. I hope it does. Yeah, it's both. It's better to do like this. So you copy through the contextual menu, and then you paste into this one. You click on there on the circle on the arrow circled area arrows. And then you have the result of FAQ. So <clears throat> But this is this, the FAQs. It's not really necessary because you have them installed already on your website. It's just to give you an example how you should manage if you want to. Uh, for example, if you want to make a website, a specific website for an event, and you wish to create <coughs> FAQs, and uh, or something that you wish to to explain through an FAQ. <coughs> And you would create a specific FAQ for that. Just saying, just seeing if it is needed to change the display page. No. Now, usually they are already configured, so what you have to change is the, um, the folder of the registration of extension that is uh, from the website, the example website, into your own website. So afterwards, you, you can enable them, and you can uh, either you hide them from the navigation menu, or you can also uh, put them online. Also, uh, there's also an important thing to say, which is the, <clears throat> the first level pages. These are first level pages. So it's these ones here. And the under pages are second level pages. Just to tell you that the first level pages, they don't have content. They only link to the under pages. So for example, uh, it's always like this. So if you have... Um, a single page, the single page will have uh, the content, but you have, if you have uh, sub-pages, these sub-pages are the ones that actually have the content. The first one doesn't have. <clears throat> 